Today in Surprisingly Connected Etymologies, we're marking time. Hopefully enough time has passed that we're finally starting to get the pandemic under control with a lot of help from vaccines, masks, and other safety measures. But of course, time will tell. Pandemic is formed from the Greek prefix pan, all, and the Greek word demos, people, also found in the word democracy, literally people rule. Demos had the original sense of district coming from the Proto-Indo-European root da to divide, which also lies behind the Old English tima, time, period, and Modern English time, which originally meant a segment of time before broadening to mean time more generally. What's your favorite day of the week? Well, etymologically speaking, perhaps it should be every day. Though the etymology of both words is debated, day, from Old English die, might ultimately come from Proto-Indo-European degwa, to burn warm, so in other words literally meaning time when the sun is hot. Since pi d and voiced aspirates in general became Latin f, this root might also lie behind Latin faura, to regard favorably, be well disposed, and faor, goodwill, support, which passed through Old French to give us English favor, and thus would be related to Latin fora, which means to heat, but also to cherish, from which we also get English foment. Diary and journal on the face of it seem like synonyms that are not etymologically connected. However, they both descend from Latin dies, day, ultimately from Proto-Indo-European dieu, to shine, and surprisingly not from the same root as English day. Diary comes from the Latin diarium, daily allowance, journal, first appearing in English in the 16th century. Journal comes from the Latin form diornalis, daily, coming into English through Old French journal, a day, time, a day's travel or work, in the 14th century originally referring to a book of daily church services. Similarly, journey was originally a day's travel. A year and an hour are quite different lengths of time, but etymologically they're one and the same. They both come from Proto-Indo-European year, with a somewhat imprecise meaning of season or year. This led to Old English yar, year, as well as Greek hora, originally season or just period of time but eventually one twelfth of a day from sunrise to sunset. It wasn't until after the word passed through Latin and Old French that it gained the more precise measurement of 60 minutes. Horoscope comes from the same root, meaning literally observer of time. It's getting close to conference season for academics like me, and many of us will be heading off to attend seminars about various topics. And, if we're lucky, we might even hear some seminal research. Seminal and seminar come from the Latin word semen, seed. It's basically an agricultural metaphor. Seminal work is at the seed stage. To disseminate information is to scatter it like seeds. Latin seminarium, plant nursery, gained figurative educational senses in seminary and seminar. All these words go back to the Proto-Indo-European root se to sow, which through the Germanic branch also gives us the words sow and seed. This root also produced the Latin verb serera, to sow, and from it the noun satio, a sowing, a planting, which became Old French saison and English season. As its form changed, so too did its sense, shifting from the act of sowing to the time of sowing and then broaden to mean time of year in general. The verb to season, as with spices, comes from the notion of a fruit seasoning or ripening and thus becoming more flavorful as it ripens. So wish me luck in my conference going and hope that I'm not too much at risk from that pandemic. Thanks for watching. This is one in a series of occasional short videos about connected etymologies. To see more, you can also follow The Endless Knot on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram.